I'm hurrying! I'm hurrying! I'm cooking as fast as I can! No matter how much I feed him, he's still hungry! Meatloaf! I need to make another meatloaf! Six! Six meatloafs! And french fries! Shoe strings, not the fifth cut! Admit it, you thought that was me inside being fed. <sighs> I wish it was. My position in life has been usurped. That's a fancy word meaning purloined, stolen. And you know who stole it? This guy, Eddie Gourmand, the famous restaurant critic. You remember him? He was on six episodes last season. You see, he lost his TV show and, well, I'll start at the top. It started with one of my favorite TV shows. At Botticelli's Italian Bistro, they have a whole new way of making lasagna. Lasagna didn't need any improvement. It was perfect the way it was. They also have a lovely rigatoni bolognese. Oh, and the cannelloni stuffed with mozzarella. An hour of fattening foods every night. Who wouldn't consider this a must-see television? Amazingly, the guy who ran a TV station. This food is just a die from. It sure is. All those calories, all that cholesterol. Right after the show, Eddie got the bad news. But why? Mr. Station Manager, sir, why? Because people shouldn't be eating the kind of fattening meals you encourage. They should be eating what I eat. Vegan chicken made out of soybeans, brown rice, organic sprouts with a wheat germ shake mixed with goat's milk yogurt. Uh, if I could just ask one tiny question. Is any of this food? <laughs> of course it's food! It's good food! Healthy food! The kind of food that makes your body say, thank you for taking such good care of me! Well, I, I suppose if you melted some cheese over it and deep fried it. Gorman! Do you know what people wind up looking like when they eat the food you recommend? No, what? This! And so Eddie Gourmand was replaced. The program normally seen in this time slot, Simply Fabulous Dining with Eddie Gourmand, will never be seen again. So we can bring you this new, much better for you program. Good evening. Tonight, I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of eating tofu. Oh, there are none. And so, he was fired. The guy took it hard. This went on for days and days. Here you go, Mr. Gourmand. One nice hot Vito's special, just for you. Oh, thank you, Vito. <laughs> that was the most delicious pizza I ever ate. Oh, hey, then uh, maybe you mention a Vito's Pizzeria on your show sometime? <laughs> Finally, Eddie wound up where all people who can't control their emotions wind up, sitting behind me in a movie. After ruining the film and getting tears in my popcorn, he apologized. Oh, I've been like this since I lost my show, Mr. Arbuckle. <laughs> Feeling sorry for the guy, Pup? <laughs> yeah, me too. I just hope John doesn't do something foolish like invite him over for dinner. Eddie, why don't you come over tonight and have dinner with us? <laughs> ah! Oh, that would be too, too wonderful, Mr. Arbuckle. Great! I'll even make my special recipe for meatloaf. Hey, doesn't that poor guy have enough problems? That evening, John learned why you should never invite a food critic to your house. Everything looks positively scrumptious, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, this meatloaf looks good enough to eat. I'll have some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and all of this, and then I'll have this, oh, this. Oh, this is utterly divine! Uh, 
Bodie, are you getting any food? <laughs> Me neither. Let's go. Another good reason never to invite a food critic to dinner. They tend to rate what they eat. Mm, I'd give the meatloaf two stars. The mashed potatoes need more butter, so they get one mm. star. But four stars for the gravy! Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the gravy. It could have used more flour, but otherwise it was... <laughs> Who threw that banana peel on the walk? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Gourmand, are you all right? No, get, get me a doctor. I'll call a doctor. And some shrimp chow mein. I'll call a Chinese restaurant. And a large mushroom pizza with pepperoni on half. I'll call Vito. <laughs> Amazingly, the doctor arrived before the shrimp chow mein or the pizza. Better keep him here until his foot heals. How long do you think that will be, doctor? Oh, not more than a few months. Goodbye. A few months? Oh, Mr. Gromond, wouldn't you be more comfortable at home or in a nice hospital? You take care of me, Mr. Arbuckle, or I'll sue you for everything you own. Except the cat. <laughs> now. Get me a grilled cheese sandwich. One grilled cheese sandwich coming up. With potato chips, the ripple cut kind. Ripple cut potato chips, right. And I want a pickle with that. Uh, that's how it started. Then it got worse. Uh, hello? Hi, Michael. It's two minutes past five in the AM, and I am looking for my breakfast. Uh, 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 uh. I must have syrup. 18 kinds if you have them. If not, go out and buy them. Oh, and I'd like eggs. Fried, boiled, scrambled, and painted with lovely designs for Easter. There was no food for me? In short, Eddie had started to remind me of that greedy, impatient, lazy creature. Oh, let's see, what's it called? Oh, right. <laughs> me. To make a healthy chocolate cake, use no chocolate. Instead, we'll use organic yeast spores and granola. Turn it off! Turn it off! Huh? Sorry, Mr. Gourmand. I guess it upsets you to see the show that replaced yours. That! But mainly the sight of all that disgusting healthy food! I can't uh, healthy food! It's the cat so has an idea. <gasps> Great show today, sir. After the latest ratings are in. What? I only got a three rating? Well, you only had three viewers. As much as I might hate it, I've got to get Eddie Gorman back. Arbuckle! Arbuckle, I want my dinner! Arbuckle, bring me my dinner or I'll sue you! Sorry, Mr. Gourmand. Here you go. Yeah, what is this? It's an artificial chicken patty made without chicken, but with artichoke flour and modified wheatgrass. When I asked for dinner, I should have specified food. This is food. It's all part of our new healthy living program. Let's go, boys. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can tell how desperate I am to get rid of Eddie. I'm actually doing this. Eddie, we're going to start you with a hundred sit-ups. You'll do nothing of the sort. And if you're not going to get my dinner, I'm going to get it for myself. I need a bacon cheeseburger with extra bacon, extra cheese, and extra burger. <gasps> there's no food. Wait, there's one thing to eat in here. I'm saved. It's, it's... Vegetarian meatloaf! <laughs> Ready for the 50 mile hike? No, no, I, I can't survive in this house any longer! Yeah, I just found the house. He left the address in his voicemail in case anyone wanted to forward any burritos. Yeah, I've got to get him to come back. Mr. Station Manager, sir! 
Eddie, I want you to come back to your old job. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Does that mean you won't come back to the station? Oh, no, no, no. I'll be back on the air tomorrow. It's just that right this minute I have an emergency need for a buffet. Garfield, your idea was brilliant. Ideas are always brilliant when I'm the guy who has them. Let's go celebrate. I'm going to make every one of your favorite <laughs> foods, Garfield. <laughs> Mr. Orbuckle. I'm sorry he caused so much trouble for you. Oh, that's fine. <coughs> hey, Mr. Station Manager, sir. Don't do it. Would you like to join us for dinner? He did yeah. it. Thanks, but I don't eat this kind of stuff. You know how many calories are in those steaks and the fat grams and... I mean, uh, well, it smells tempting, but... Oh, maybe one bite wouldn't hurt. <laughs> oh. oh, you know what cholesterol could do to you? And carbonated drinks? I only drink... Mm. Hey, this is good. Harbuckle. Get me some honey! Right away. Oh, oh and I'm gonna wanna try the french fries. So, uh, some ketchup. Also right away. And I don't see uh -huh. any steak sauce! Steak sauce, I'll get it. Deja vu all over again. Uh -huh. Looks like we're not getting anything to eat for the next few days. Uh -huh. <laughs> and blitzes! I want blitzes the way my mother used to make them! Uh, I'll get your mother. <laughs> and do we have any chocolate cream pie for dessert? <laughs> oh, Normal, you're so cute. You're just about the most adorable thing on this whole planet. <laughs> hey, Garfield, isn't Normal cute? <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. Normal is absolutely cute. Oh, and did you see that cute thing he did earlier, chasing a fly through the kitchen? Cute, adorable, just cute and adorable. Ah, <sighs> I'm so glad he'll be staying with us for a couple of months. I couldn't be happier. Imagine a couple months with Nermal. Yippee, what joy. And I appreciate you being so nice and always smiling at him. Do you really mean it, Garfield? Just one second. I can't stand you, Nermal. You're annoying, you're disgusting, you're disgusting and annoying. Oh, Garfield. Huh? I'll be out for a while. Play nicely with Nermal. Yes, I will play nicely with my good friend Nermal. Oh. Disgusting and annoying. And did I mention repulsive and inferior? You're just jealous, Garfield. Jealous because I'm the picture of cute and you're the picture of you. I'm gonna get a snack, then sit in your chair and watch TV. <laughs> Huh? I'm gonna get rid of that. That blight on the good name of Cat once and for all. Garfield's done some rotten things to me, but that was one of the rottenest. Almost as bad as the time he glued mouse ears on me and tried to sell me at a pet store as a large rat. Garfield! Garfield? Who's Garfield? Oh, come on, you know who Garfield is. Just nice puppy? 
Oh, thank you, Garfield. Huh? That's cute how you slurp me like that. Could Garfield have lost his memory? Well, there's an easy way to find out. Say, uh, I think there's some lasagna in the kitchen. Lasagna? Isn't that kind of fattening? Whoa! <gasps> He's got amnesia, Odie. <laughs> uh, Odie, go outside and wait for John to come back. He'll know what to do. John? Who's John? He's this guy who never knows what to do. But he better not find you in here. Why not? You're a mangy alley cat named Ichabod, and you're not allowed in the house. Ichabod? Yes, you live outside, and you only eat stuff you find in trash cans. Well, if he says so. <laughs> and now I have the whole house to myself. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. I better go find some trash cans. Ichabod. <laughs> I don't seem to be finding much to... Oh, here's something. Hey, if we're not gonna eat that, let us have it. Huh? I'm famished, brother. Mmm. Mm. That's, That's good, good eating. Are mm. uh, you guys like that? Best meal I've had in days. Really hit the spot. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood, fella. I'm Tino, and this is my brother Gino. Where are you from? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. This is gonna be so great not having Garfield around. No one to bother me. No one to mail me to Abu Dhabi. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Odie misses his friend. Well, I don't. Let's see, which of these pictures of me is better? Huh. What difference does it make? I'm adorable in both. Nice of you guys to show me around. Think nothing of it, Dickabod. We like to sleep in the alley on account of the guy who runs that restaurant over there. He throws out something delicious, better than fish skeletons even. You pussycats! Don't you go knocking down the videos of trash cans again! You do, and I will call the authorities! <laughs> he thinks we do it. We don't. Crusher does it. Crusher? Well, I don't know who Crusher is, but uh, I'm too hungry. You'll be showy. Yeah, especially if Crusher comes around. <laughs> Oh, gee, maybe it's fattening, but it sure smells so good. Hey, you, what's your name? Ichabod. Ichabod. Oh, well, give me that lasagna, Ichabod. No. No? Well, you know what I'm going to do to you? No, but I know what I'm gonna do. Is this the animal control department? Okay, Ichabod, 
You're true. You're true. You got rid of Crusher? Brilliant! You're pretty smart for a cat who's lived all his life in alleys. Thanks, but I'm drawn irresistibly to this lasagna. Oh, that taste. Mm, that texture. I know that taste and texture as well as I know my own name. And my own name is Garfield. Garfield? Better than Ichabod. <laughs> hey, what is it? Guys, I have to go deal with someone. Someone who's too cute for my own good. <laughs> Hi, Odie. <laughs> hey, down boy, down boy. Look, I'm glad to see you too, but wait. You're a mangy alley cat named Ichabod, and you're not allowed in the house. Ichabod? Yes, you live outside, and you only eat stuff you find in trash cans. Huh? Wait here, I have something I have to do. In this world, it's difficult to learn to truly love yourself. Gee, I haven't had any problem. Garfield! Uh, Garfield? Who's Garfield? My name is Ichabod, and I'm an alley cat, and I eat out of trash cans. I need a job. Could I be your servant, please? You? My servant? All right. Get me two three-minute eggs, three two-minute eggs, and a side order of anything that takes a long time to cook. Uh, certainly. Just let me adjust your chair for you. Hey, Garfield, let me out! Garfield! Garfield? Garfield? Who's Garfield? My name is Ichabod. Here, Abu Dhabi and step on it. Garfield! Ichabod, whoever you are! <sighs> Here you go, guys. Do you have any idea where Normal is? Right now, I'd say uh, somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean. Huh? <laughs> hey, don't be rude. We have to serve our guests first. Here you go, guys. Oh, well, well, this looks delicious. It's got to be better than eating fish skeletons out of trash cans. Obviously, you've never tasted John's cooking. Guys, this is probably not an emergency. That's a relief. We have to go see my Aunt Ivy. <laughs> That's not a relief. <laughs> she said she needed me over at her house right away. Aunt Ivy. <laughs> About time you got here, Johnny. I'm having my house fumigated to get rid of little pests. Okay, huh? we've tended the house. You'll have to stay out for, oh, three, maybe four days. Well, I guess it has to be done. So, Aunt Ivy, where are you going to... Oh, no. I'm staying with you, Johnny. Now, don't just stand there. Get my luggage! 
I packed a few things I absolutely have to take along. Couldn't have said it better myself. And when you serve me breakfast in bed, keep it tidy. Because I'll be taking over your bedroom. And maybe the whole upstairs. Yes, Aunt Ivy. I want dinner at 8 sharp. Not 8.05. Make it high on taste, low on cholesterol, and serve it on good dinnerware. Uh, yes, Aunt Ivy. Uh. In an odd way, I like having Aunt Ivy on the show. Compared to her, I actually seem easy to live with. Ivy, my favorite show is on now. Is it okay if I watch it? No. <laughs> Aunt Ivy, would you please pass the mashed potatoes? No. Aunt Ivy, you've been in the bathroom for two hours. Could you please hurry up so I can use it? No! No! <laughs> Blueberry pancakes? I distinctly asked for chocolate chip! <laughs> sure! Come by any time. I may be here a few weeks. <laughs> a few weeks? I just invited my sister and my nieces over. You don't mind. Not that it would matter if you did. Her sister? Her nieces? Chocolate chip pancakes? What am I gonna do? I can't take any more of this. But she is my aunt. Ah! As always, the cat is coming to your rescue. Oh, what's this, Garfield? It's a picture of my brother. Don't I have enough problems with my family? Don't I... Oh, that's it, Garfield. You're brilliant! True. Hi, Aunt Ivy. Wouldn't you like to go visit your other nephew on the farm? Of course you would! I don't want to go to the farm! I hate farm! <laughs> You can't wait to be there. Doc Boy's going to be so happy to see his favorite aunt. <laughs> Doc Boy, I brought you a surprise. John, a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Wait! Take her back! Don't drop me! Stop! John, come back! <sighs> Hello, Aunt Ivy. <gasps> I see this farm is still a dump. So nice of you to come visit. I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> Ooh, la, 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 la. I know it was a rotten thing to do to my brother, but it had to be done. Hello. You've got to take her back, John. Two pillows! I need two pillows! Sorry, brother. She's your aunt, too. Take her back. Take her back. You can call me. Hey. Please, John. <laughs> The room I'm going to stay in. I want it painted another color. Oh! Watch out on those turns! And stop off and get me some denture glue! <laughs> that must be Vito. I called him to deliver a couple of pizzas. <laughs> 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 Huh? 
Here, you left this at the farm. You forgot my denture glue. Yeah, it does look like we're stuck with her. But hey, it could be worse. Hi, Cousin John! Hi, Heidi! See? It's worse. And Esther will be coming along later. Lovely. It's so nice to see you, Drusilla. And you too, Minerva. No, I'm Drusilla. She's Minerva. Are you sure? Oh, look! The key cat! Yeah! No, not them again. What's the big idea taking me to that farm? I hate that farm. I also hate this place, which smells like a farm. Now, about the way you've been getting your hair cut lately. <laughs> A new spring outfit. You need to find a better job. And where are we going? We're going to the oh, Mama Dory Dad Fair. Can we have ice cream? No. Take them away. I'm not home. Take them, please. I'll never ask you for anything ever again. Hey. Couldn't even take me home. Lying around loafing when you should be getting me an evening snack. And Ivy, when are you going home? When they get rid of all the mice I had in my house. There's nothing I hate more in the world than mice. Why? You don't want me. You want to play with this adorable puppy dog. <laughs> Squeak, it's me. It's important. I don't care what you say, I'm not taking Aunt Ivy. <laughs> Squeak, open up. I need your help. You two both can stand to get a little more exercise. Oh, and I want a pickle. Has anyone seen the kitty cat? Huh? What's that terrible music? Thanks, guys. Anything to get rid of Aunt Ivy, and people call us pests. Sorry I tried to stick you with Aunt Ivy, Doc Boy. I forgive you, John. And don't call me Doc Boy. I guess every family has a couple of annoying relatives. Fortunately, that's all we have. <gasps> Aunt Ivy! We thought you were afraid of mice. I was. But on my way out, I ran into my twin sister. And she reminded me I got over that. Twin sister? You remember Aunt Esther. Hi, nephews! You don't mind if I stay for a while, too, do you? No, ah, again! We want dinner! We want to watch TV we while we eat dinner! <sighs> this is twice as bad. <laughs> Esther, you remember Drusilla and Minerva? Of course! And I brought my twins, Lucretia and Tabitha. Hi, Lucretia! Uh, oh, no. Ah, remember that exterminator from the beginning of the episode? You think he knows how to get rid of relatives?
Send this to Abu Dhabi and do not handle with care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Garfield, how many times do I have to tell you, you can't mail Nermal to Abu Dhabi? <laughs> He wouldn't fit in the fax machine. Besides, Normal is so cute. In fact, Normal's just the cutest thing on the entire planet. And I'm so glad he's going to be staying with us for the entire month. Face it, Garfield. In the reality-based world, I am the pinnacle of cute, and the cute ones rule. I have to stay here and see this. What I can't figure out is why any of you watch when he's on the show. Doctors work day and night to get rid of horrible diseases. When will someone find a cure for Nermal? Normal's just the cutest thing on the entire planet. <laughs> and I'm so glad he's going to be staying with us for the entire month. You are monitoring our dread enemy, the Orange Cat, General? Yes, and I believe we will soon find his weakness. He seems to hate that which is cute. We must find his weakness. His ability to devour our people is all that prevents us from finally conquering his planet. The secret may lie in this line our spy monitors just captured. In fact, Nermal's just the cutest thing on the entire planet. This Nermal has a dire effect on the orange one. That is the key. Send in Spumoni! I did. It is time to program the transformation our scientists have engineered. Step into the molecular restabilizer. This will change him into an even cuter version of the normal species, so he can infiltrate the orange one's home. It will be my honor to go under the submission. The better to keep. <laughs> Brilliant! Like this, he will find out how to defeat the orange one. I can use the molecular restabilizer to transport him to Earth, and later to bring him back as well. I'm not expecting anyone. Oh, you poor little adorable kitten. You look abandoned and hungry. Don't worry, I'll feed you. And boy, you sure are cute. Another cute kitten? Hasn't Nermal made me sick enough? I know you don't like this, Garfield, but he's so cute. In fact, he's even cuter than Nermal. <laughs> what do we need another disgusting, cute... cuter than Nermal? Why, oh, this could be, uh, shall we say, interesting? <laughs> <laughs> You seem pretty confident of yourself, Nermal. And why shouldn't I be? After all, I am the cutest kitten in the world! <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. 
Meet our newest guest. What did you say your uh, name was? Pepperoni. You think this kitten's cuter than me? <laughs> no way. I mean, yeah, he's cute, but I'm cute. John sure thinks so. Here's a ball of yarn for our cute little friend to play with. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> I've got to call Liz. Nice try, fella. I'll show you cute with a capital C. You've got to see him, Liz. Cutest kitten you ever saw. Yeah. Normal, aren't you a little old to be acting like that? Uh, no, I can't bring him over right now, Liz. I think Aunt Ivy's dropping by for a visit. Aunt Ivy? Yeah. Hm. See, this dump hasn't changed one bit. You still have that obese cat. Still have that flea-bitten mutt. I don't know who this is, but I don't like him either. And this little one is... Is oh, he's, he's adorable. Why, you're just the sweetest, cutest, most precious kid in the world, I write you. Even Aunt Ivy likes him. She doesn't like anything. Excuse me, I'm a total stranger. I was just passing by and I somehow had a strange feeling that you had the cutest kitten in the world in here. And I could see I was right. Did I just hear someone say something about the cutest kitten in the world? Me! Me! Don't you people know cute when you see it? One side! Formerly cutest kitten, I want to see the new champ. <laughs> it can be hard to accept reality. <laughs> well, it was nice being adorable while it lasted. Excuse me a second, admirers. Oh, he's so cute. No exalted leader. I have not found the Orange One's weakness yet, and I will not. What do you mean, you will not? These people, they think I am adorable. But Spavoni, you are my fiercest warrior. Yes, but all my life, I wanted to be cute. They love me. I will not betray them. Farewell. Spavoni! This is an outrage! You're not a cute kitten. True. I really look like this. Huh? Why? But I would rather look like this. I don't know. Somehow you look cuter to me when you look like lasagna. Use the molecular reclamation ray. Bring him back here at once. Yes, your leadership. Please don't expose me or, or eat me. The reclamation of Spumoni is completed, your leadership. You are in a big trouble, Spumoni. Oh. <laughs> we are in a big trouble. Our dread enemy. What? Run! The monster is in our midst! Boy, I'll never get home from here.
Well, do not devour us! If I don't, will you send me home and never bother us again? Anything, anything you ask, please! Okay, you got yourself a deal, fella. Huh? Everyone left, Garfield. That cute kitten just disappeared on us. Do you have any idea where he went? Uh, nope. Is it true? Is he gone? Gone, apparently for good. And that means... I'm numero uno again! Yes! Cutest kitty cat in the whole wide world! Yeah, we're all thrilled for you. Yeah, you'll never know what it's like, Garfield. Having everyone like you and admire you. It's just the greatest feeling in the entire universe. I know what you mean, Nurma. I know what do you mean. <laughs> there will be a sequel, and we will have our revenge. Day. You feel like moving, Odie? Uh -uh. Yeah, me neither. There's nothing that could get us off this floor. I'm packing for the trip tomorrow. Three glorious days at the beach. The beach? Uh -huh. I'll get the barbecue. You get the hamburgers and franks and ribs and lasagna. Can you barbecue lasagna? No, huh? you two are not going. Liz and I are going. I promised Liz a vacation with just the two of us. You two are going to stay with Aunt Ivy till I get back. Oh, Ivy! <laughs> Aunt Ivy! No, no, not Aunt Ivy. Take us to a kennel. Take us to a prison. Put us up for auction on the internet. But don't leave us with Aunt Ivy. You're staying with Aunt Ivy while Liz and I visit the beach. <laughs> That is, if it doesn't rain. Come on, Odie. Let's go check on the chance of rain. Please. Oh, please. Chance of rain. Please, chance of rain. It's going to be a gorgeous summer, folks. Nothing but blue skies and sunshine for the next six weeks across the entire Western Hemisphere. Chance of rain, zero. We are so doomed. And now, if you'll excuse me, surf's up. Ta da! It's no use. Tomorrow morning is the end of life as we know it. Aunt Ivy. Bring me my lunch! Paint my garage! Tweeze my nose hairs! We're saved, Odie. We're saved! I'm trying something new, Agnes. I figure if I deliver to the Arbuckle House early enough, that cat won't be up yet and I'll be safe. Well, weird things happen at that house. Oh, what do you mean? Oh. 
weird thing. What kind of weird thing, Herman? Uh, Herman? I can't understand it, Liz. Earlier today, it was like it was only raining over our house here. Now it looks like it's spreading everywhere. They said clear and sunny for the next few weeks, but now they're changing their tune. Well, guess the joke's on us, people. Looks like six weeks of the wettest weather ever across the Western Hemisphere. Sorry about those picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's letting up for a while. But I guess our plans for the beach are off. I wonder what caused this change in the weather. Now what's he up to? <clears throat> It's one of those garden gnomes. Stupid looking statue. <laughs> John's always buying dumb stuff like that. <laughs> Last month he bought an indoor plastic bird bath. John's stupid looking statue. It isn't one. Oh no. Meow. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring all this bad weather. I accidentally left the tunnel door open. What tunnel door? You brought this? Who are you? Hi, my name's Paddy. A leprechaun I be from the Emerald Land of Ireland. You don't know where Ireland is, Odie? Why, it's, it's, uh, uh... Where is Ireland? Long ago and far away, we say. Here. <laughs> Ireland is an island in Europe close to Britain. Whoa! <gasps> and as you can see, it's always... It's always... <laughs> raining there, which is why all of us have colds all the time. So, what's this tunnel you were talking about? To get out of the rain, we leprechauns dug underground express tunnels. Through them, we can go all over to warm, sunny countries during the summer. Yesterday, I took an old tunnel, one that hadn't been used in decades, you see, and I came here. Come right under your fireplace. But I forgot to close the door. So this is... Huh. Ireland, sweater. It came through the tunnel with me and got loose. Huh? So, if we have Ireland's weather, where's our weather? I'm coming to you from a secret hiding place where that angry mob can't find me. The weather is terrible all over this hemisphere. In fact, the only place in the world which has clear, sunny weather is... Ireland? Ireland? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that sounds great, John. I've always wanted to see Ireland, but it was always too wet. I hope you're still packed, because I just booked the tickets and our plane leaves in four hours. Garfield! It's clear and sunny in Ireland! <laughs> Ireland has our weather. I should have never left that door open in the tunnel. Liz and I are going to vacation there instead. <laughs> Liz and John are going on vacation. You know what that means, Odie? Work faster, you worthless animals! John, how could you do this to us? After this, you're gonna wash the windows, do the laundry, beat the rugs, clean the grease trap, stack the firewood, scrub the bathroom, trim my toenails, and take out the garbage. But, but... And I know, you just took out the garbage. But I've been having my neighbors bring all of their garbage over here just so you can take it out. 
It's lunchtime. I suppose you two want to eat. <laughs> Too bad! I can't take any more of this, Odie. Cats weren't meant to do degrading, dirty labor. That's why they invented human beings. Oh, there's got to be a way out of this. There's just got to be. You can hear me, laddies. You have a tunnel here? We have them everywhere. <laughs> so, you want to join your friends in Ireland? We can. <laughs> well, anything to get away from Aunt Ivy. What happened? <laughs> this old engine runs on leprechaun magic. I'll have you there in a wee instant. <laughs> 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 Ireland is beautiful, and we have beautiful weather. Okay, Aunt Ivy, thanks for calling. Aunt Ivy says Garfield and Odie have disappeared. Disappeared? When did this happen? About five minutes ago. Well, that's awful. Where could they possibly be? I don't know, and it's not like I can find them over here. Surprise! Ah! <laughs> oh! huh? I mean, what? It, how? Mmm. They have good corned beef here in Ireland. Mm. Garfield, how did you and Odie? Ah! Ah! Oh! Is this our bad weather from back home? Oh, I'm afraid so. I forgot to close the tunnel door again. Oh, well. At least it looks like Ireland again here. And it sure beats hanging out with Aunt Ivy. 